everyone, Tracy here with Paper Closet Designs. And today I have a short little video showing you how to um, assemble one card. This is the B pop-up stand card. Now, if you haven't seen my pop-up stand cards, um, they can also be called slice cards. Let me show you a couple that I've done kind of recently. So this is our ladybug. I'll set that aside. This is our skunk, so cute. And this is the butterfly. And what a pop-up stand card is, is it has three stands. They kind of remind me of like a Barbie doll stand or a paper doll stand. And then they have three side stands. And I'll show that to you as we assemble them. But they lay flat. They fit in a five, uh, an A2 envelope, and the measurements on an A2 envelope are five and three quarters across, so five and three quarters across, and then four and three eighths down. So four and three eighths by five and three fourths. The card themselves measures about five by five by four inches. So they slip in an envelope, and then when you just pull them out, out they can pop open and you can just stand them on your desk or display them wherever you would like. So today we're going to do just the B card. It's a brand new one. I've been doing a lot of B themed projects. I've put out about four videos with some new cards and dome cards. Today we're gonna do this B. So let me show you what comes with it and then we will go ahead and get started. So you have the two stand covers. These are optional pieces and I will show you as we go along where you would use them if you choose to. We have the three um, inside sand stand pieces. There's one large and two smaller and the large one goes in the middle. Then all of the pop-up stand cards have a printable sentiment that goes on the back. This one says, have a be beautiful day, be beautiful day. Um, and this will go on the back. I do have a video, not for this card, but for some others that shows you how to take this sentiment and delete it or change it to add your own, how to print it in both Silhouette and Cricut, or you can just cut this out and fill it with a different color, leave it blank, lots of options, but that is on a different video and I will link to that. Then we have three little daisies with the centerpieces. I'm gonna set those aside. You also have two Bs. So there's one B and whoops, the other one's kind of hiding back here. There is your second B. We'll assemble those. And then we have the front of the card, the front slice or the front stand. We have the middle stand, which has a two layered beehive on it. And then we have the back stand, which has the honeycomb. So let's go ahead and assemble these pieces first. I'm gonna do my beehive and it's pretty simple. I would suggest a glue bottle with a needle point or a fine tip point um, because these pieces are kind of small. But I'm just gonna put some glue. First I'm gonna put it on that door and then kind of just sporadically on the outline of the beehive. You don't have to get every little piece. And they are kind of thin, but if you can get a few of those, you're gonna, it's gonna hold down just fine. Okay, then we're gonna just lay that on there. Match it up, get it off the table so we can see it. Match it up and just press that down. Okay, so there is our little beehive. The bees, there are two bees. So we have a bee with the double wings and then the bee with both wings at the same time. So this bee has one wing. It has the stripes. It has the body. 
it has the background with the second wing. So we're just going to take our body and add some glue to it. And all of my bee projects, the bees are assembled the same way. So if you get another card or a box, it probably has one of these bees on it. And then we're going to take the stripes and I'm going to put glue on the tail and on a couple of the stripes and just on the neck. I'm not going to worry about those edge pieces. They're really thin and you don't want it on the head because the head doesn't stick to that background. Just line that up. I'm trying to work around the camera stand. Let me bring this up a little bit closer. There we go. And then add the second wing. And I'm just going to put glue on the bottom and layer it. So that's the one wing. The second wing, or the second bee, has the stripes, the body, and the background with both bees on it. Add some glue to the body. Glue it down. Then the same thing with this bee stripes. We're going to do the tail, the two stripes, and just a little bit along the edge of the neck. And layer him. Okay, so now we have our two bees. All that we have left to do is the three flowers. And that's really simple. We're just going to glue the centers on there. And your machines will cut all of these pieces, even though they are a little bit tiny. The machines don't have any problems with them. I've done it both in my Cricut and my Silhouette without any problem at all. All right. So I'm going to put my glue away. Well, not quite yet. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our back piece our back stand, and I'm going to add the sentiment to it. And it's pretty big, so I'm just going to use my tape runner. I'm just going to add it right in there, and it's designed so that there's a shadow showing all the way around it. I'm going to flip it over and glue on the honeycomb pattern. I'm just going to try and get as much glue around the edge as I can. Doesn't have to be perfect. See, whoops, now I got glue on the stand. And then just in a couple of places. And we're going to line that up. And that one, there is not a shadow. It goes edge to edge. If you're using white uh, glue that dries clear, you don't have to worry if those glue dots smear just a little bit. Okay. That is the back stand. The middle stand holds our beehive. And you'll notice that the the Outline is cut larger than the beehive, and there's a reason for that. It just makes lining it up a little bit easier. And then that's going to get glued right on there. Woo! Let's put a drop of glue right down there. I hope it's stuck now. Okay. And then for the front, we are actually not going to add the elements or the flowers to it yet until we get it assembled and the covers put on it. So we're going to take the middle stand um, and the middle tall stand, and we're going to put those together. So the middle one is the taller of the two, bottom stand, sorry, and we're going to slide those together. And then there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can put both stands on, bottom stands at the same time, or you can do the top and the, the front and the back. Um, it really doesn't matter. I usually do 
the bottom stands all at once. And those two little grooves, so there's one there and one on the bottom stand, and they just slide together. And the first time you put them on there, they're gonna be a little bit tight, which is okay. Okay, now we're gonna take the back and we're gonna do it the same way. I'm gonna turn this around so I can see what I'm doing. You're just gonna slide all of those into the grooves with the cutouts. Kind of work it down a little bit. Just like that, and then do the same with the front piece. Just work it down, work it down. Okay, at this point, so you've got all your stands together. At this point, you can leave it like this, and a lot of people like that that look and that is perfectly fine so if you want to leave it like that you would go ahead and glue the rest of your embellishments on your bees and your flowers but if you want to put the covers on that is the next step so we're going to lay it down and we're going to hold it fold it flat and i'm going to fold everything so that it's pointed to the left and you want to make sure all of your bottom line up okay and then you're going to take these three front tabs. You can see them on this one because they're black. And you're going to fold them over towards the left. So I folded all my card to point to the right. And now I'm going to fold everything to the left and turn those tabs over. There's no score lines, but they will fold really easily. And then we're just going to go ahead and glue them down with a little bit of glue. Just add a little bit of glue and fold that down. A little bit on this one. Fold it down. A little bit on that one. Fold it down. And now you can take your cover piece and cover those um, tabs. Now we're going to flip it over, and this time everything is pointed to the left, and we're going to take these three black tabs, or whatever color you've covered, cut them from, and we're going to fold them to the left. So it's pointing to the right, we're going to fold them to the left. And then glue those down. Take your second cover piece and let's add some glue to it. And then we're gonna cover that up. Let's fold it back over and now we can add the flowers and the bees. So on the front piece, you have the bees with the two wings at the top and there's a cutout for them. I'm just going to add some glue. Again, I'm not going to put it on the head because the cutout piece is not for the head. It just kind of shows you where to align the bee. And one of the flowers. And I kind of like to turn this and bend it a couple of different ways so that it kind of trains it. Okay, at this point, now we can add the rest of our um, embellishments. So we have the bee and we have the two flowers, and you can put them anywhere that you want. I'm gonna go ahead and put my bee right over here on the honeycomb. And I think I'll put my two flowers on the beehive.
just like that. And there is our B pop-up stand card. Isn't that just fun? And then he folds flat. You can stick him in an envelope, mail him, and then the recipient pops it open, displays it. The back says, have a beautiful day. Such a fun card for almost any occasion during the summer and fall. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you'll give one of these pop-up stand cards or slice cards a try. Please give me a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe so that you don't miss any of my videos. And have a great day.